Hi guys, each of these contain a mixture of acrylic paint, craft glue, and water. Also, you're gonna need a canvas. Uh, hurry up, Sue, it's heavy. Uh, well, let's see what you're up to. First of all, we should protect the table and prepare the base for the painting. We'll just apply white acrylic paint all over the surface of our canvas. What a nice pattern we've got here. <gasps> Whoa! Be careful, Sammy. <laughs> I think that we are gonna start with the painting using the chain. After all, we already know this technique very well. Like a lot of others. And if you enjoy painting and drawing, welcome to our channel. It is very important to make this layer of paint very smooth. And now we can finally get started with the creative process. By the way, can you try and guess what I'm drawing here? Ooh, that's a job for a professional riddler like me. Well, well, well. Bright colors, the lines are close to each other. Judging by the shape... This could be a flower or something. Interesting. I have to go Google it. <laughs> this might resemble a flower, especially if I do this. But maybe you change your mind, Sammy. That's quite an unusual chain of events, Sue. Whoa! Does that mean you give up? We'll carefully place the chain along the outer line of our drawing. All the way through, actually. Ooh, this is gonna be fun. And then we'll start pulling it! Do it, Susie, do it! Yay! Come on! Ah! Here we go! That was so mesmerizing, Sue! Ha! <laughs> I know, right? And this is what we've got. How come I didn't immediately guess? Shiver me shudder, Sue. What else are you doing there? Well, you didn't think that we would use the chain only once, did you? And now, your favorite part. Sammy, we're placing the chain. And our peacock will have a beautiful tail. Carefully, this way. And now, pull. Cannoli, can I try doing that, please? Well, of course. Such a good idea. I'm gonna just stand here. Uh-huh. And now, oh, this is so cool. A little bit more. Uh-huh. Ah, that was amazing. Did I get it right, Susie? Of course you did. But I think one little feather is missing here. Whoosh. All right, this step is done. Let's turn this. Ah, I see you read my mind. It will be much more convenient to draw a peacock's head that way. Coming through! Uh-huh, I'm coming! Get the paint over the edge of the canvas, please. Oh, my feta! I know that! Like this! Okay, now it's my turn, Mr. Crafting Expert. That's it! Well done, Sue! Easy! Very beautiful! Good job! A little bit more! Bingo! Ah, oh, what would you do without me? <laughs> Well, guys, our peacock is missing just a couple of things. And since we agreed not to use paintbrushes today... Try not to break your fingers while doing that! Just dip the head of the pin into the paint. And something narrow and flat will come in handy to draw a crest. Exactly. And this is it, folks! The chain picture is ready! Time to keep experimenting! Whee! <laughs> Sammy, enough fidgeting around. We've got a lot of work to do. I prepared all you asked. <laughs> and thank you very much for that. Now let's cover the canvas with paint for this drawing as well. Since we have never tried this particular technique of coloring, let's draw something very simple, like a colorful butterfly. Here we go. How do you like this idea, Sammy? This is amazing! But I call dibs on choosing the wings' colors. Savonne, Miss Susan, add that wonderful blue to each of her wings. I'd be delighted to do that, Monsieur Sam Magnifique. Oh, oh. Ahem, don't. Seriously, Sue, we're not drawing a ladybug here. Trust me, when we're done, there won't be a single dot left. <laughs> Better tell me what color I should use next. And you try and guess. <laughs> I'm starting to think that pink in our crafts is like the signature of the artist on the paintings. If there is pink in the craft, then Sam definitely had a hand in it. 
Laugh as long as you want, but time is going by! I'm gonna turn on the boost. No time to relax, Sue. Better add the third color. My hand is exhausted, Sammy. Could you do it yourself? Uh, fine. Oh, I have to do everything all by myself, huh? Uh-huh. Carefully, the main beauty rule is not to overdo it. Thank you for that break. Hey, what? I can take it from here. Oh, all right. A few more drops and we'll get a beautiful picture. Susie, I brought some wrappers. Take your pick. Wow, did you collect them from all over the house? Well, now you'll understand why it is more convenient when the picture rotates. Just make some smooth moves from the edge to the center. No rush. Like this. We're kind of getting an original picture here on the napkin as well. Right, but obviously it's not as beautiful as our butterfly. Do you agree, guys? Then give a thumbs up to support our Susie! Oh, we nearly forgot about one important thing. The butterfly's body. Yeah, have you ever seen a bodiless butterfly? And a couple of antennas, and we're done. Now you can enjoy this splendor, everybody! Well, who is ready for the last craft for today? But before you begin, make sure to prepare your canvas for work. I hope you remember that this time we'll draw with a spoon! That's right, Sammy. <laughs> we can't do without paints either. So, whoosh! I said whoosh! <coughs> Sammy, when I said whoosh, you should have thrown paint at me. Oh, sorry. I was thinking about Christmas and I must have dozed off. This is interesting. Christmas isn't around yet. I wonder why you were suddenly thinking about it. This video's coming to an end! I got sad and decided to think of something nice. Like gifts! And when do I receive the most gifts? That's right, for Christmas! <laughs> then you will be very pleased with this painting of ours. Because, after the bird and the butterfly, I decided to draw a plant. Or rather, the most beautiful Christmas wreath. It seems to me that drawing with a spoon will go just perfectly. And now we'll give our wreath some volume. You just need to add a lighter shade to it. Oh, thanks, Sammy. This should turn out pretty well. What? How is it already here? Sammy? I helped a little. Did I do something wrong? <laughs> of course not. Everything looks just great. There are only a few things to do, guys. We need to give life to our wreath. Adding such delicate twigs here and there. Oop. Hmm, sorry, but the Christmas wreath isn't supposed to be like this. You mean prickly? Oh, don't worry, Sammy. We will fix this. Ugh, I should constantly keep an eye on you. Let's speed things up a bit. One, two, three. Now we're talking. Hey, Sue, but Christmas is all about mistletoe, if you know what I mean. What are you talking about? Oh, of course. Sammy, you are a genius. Guys, we just need to add these red berries to it. Oh, what a pity that Christmas is still so far away. Well, fellas, let's do deal with the berries. And then we'll check out all three pictures. Alright, what will it be? The sun, the rainbow, a few clouds... Oh, hello, friends! You're already here, and I have everything ready! Vroom, vroom! Here's some thicker paper for you, Rod! Oh, thanks, Sam! Have you already came up with what you will draw? Or should I help you with that, too? I know that you're a great idea generator, Sam, but I think I can handle it myself. Well, well... Oh, you scared me! Rainbows and unicorns, huh? <laughs> Nothing out of the ordinary, am I right? <laughs> As always, you're in a hurry. We'll have only a unicorn onesie here. One, two, three. See for yourself. What? Uh, I think my glasses fogged up. Uh, oh. 
<gasps> you draw cute kids in onesies on the crowd? <sighs> and also a rainbow. Not just one, though. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, my feta. Give us a thumbs up if you love this idea, too. Off somewhere. This is my chance. <laughs> I just have to leave my mark on this magnificent. <laughs> so I found a liner. What is this? Sammy, did you draw this? I just really wanted to be needed, Raj. You keep working on your own. Of course I need you. Let me show you something. Abracadabra. Ta-da! There you go. Just don't be sad. <gasps> my precious! While Sammy is busy, let's finish the first stage of our crafts and move on to coloring. Let's start outlining everything from this corner. Uh, Raj, don't you think uh, uh, that a rainbow should have Thing, you know? You're right. But what if it's a fairy tale world with a six color rainbow? Maybe this is actually a dream of one of these babies, huh? A dream, you say? Mm, I love taking a nap after a delicious snack. I'll be right here in the cloud. Oh, wake me up when you're done with the liner. As you say, I don't mind working in silence for a bit. Sam, it's time to get up! Uh, uh, what? Uh, I'm not sleeping! Are you done already? <gasps> what is this? Oh, how long did I sleep? <laughs> Let me help Ow! you! Thanks! Now check it out! What do you think of all this? Liver me cheddars! It turned out just great! Now we need to color that thing! I didn't know that I prepared myself a worthy competitor in drawing! Like this, yes! Carefully, easy! Now lower it! <laughs> we had a great break, buddy. But now it's time for work. Boom! <laughs> okay, let's see. Ah, these watercolor pencils draw very softly. Great! Did you just call them watercolor? Should they be washed away with water? We can work with them as usual. Look how bright the colors are. Hotcha, don't confuse me! <laughs> okay, I'm sold. We're going to do this with water. Mix colors, make soft transitions. Holy cannoli, Roger! Your drawing looks like a real piece of art! I wonder why there's such a surprise in your voice. Did you not believe in me? Ha, of course you didn't. Nobody expected such a result. Alright, that's enough! Get lost, you! Uh, can I also try this painting technique? Of course, Sammy! Soak a brush in water and try to blur the color right here! Ha, in a moment! So, like this... Just a little more... Oh, this and you're doing great! Much. How about coloring one of the babies in the picture? Are you serious? And I can choose the colors myself? Oh, so good! Can I pick this one? All done! And I even gave this kitty cute pink cheeks just like mine! Great job, buddy! Let me just work it up a bit. By the way, here it is important not to overdo it with water, so that the color does not flow out of the outline of the picture. But still, this way you can make any drawing very beautiful, right? Oh, perhaps I should have drawn a smaller picture. <laughs> For tired hands that cannot color, the drawing magic gives you power. Wow, <laughs> that's what I call magic. 
Thank you, oh great slime wizard. This one reminds me of the Easter Bunny. <laughs> yeah, and he also seems to have taken air into his chubby cheeks and now he's tailing. You mean like this? <sighs> oh, Slick Slime and his funny tricks. <sighs> By the way, Sam, you reminded me that I also know some magic. Oh, ta-da! Great! We're done! Say that we're done, Raj! Has Monsieur Magnifique told you nothing? <laughs> huh? What? We have to work out the background. The details, we haven't used the markers yet. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Just keep working by the mozzarella. How does he know anything? Well, well, let's see. Yellow and orange? No. Green and brown? Definitely no. Hmm. What are you up to, Raj? I want to make the background not only cute but also gradient, but what color to choose? <laughs> Still thinking. There's nothing cuter than pink. Come on, try this if one. If you say so. I trust you completely, buddy. Let's go. In case someone doesn't know, a gradient is a smooth transition from one color to another. And then on to the next, and the next. So there can be as many colors as you like. We started with pink, we finish with blue, and blend everything in the middle. Hmm, I like the way you're thinking, Raj. I approve. And a little more. Just like that. A couple of brush strokes, and we're done. What do you say, Sammy? Did I do a good job? Let me take a closer look. <laughs> In general, I like it. But because of the blur and in some places, the picture is fuzzy. That's easy to fix. Seriously? How? <laughs> With markers, of course. Let's take the color we want. And just add brightness, shades, accents. So in general, we'll do this. I love what we're doing. Please give us a thumbs up if you agree. And don't forget to subscribe to huh? this wonderful and interesting channel. <laughs> <laughs> and if you don't have markers at hand, you can add the accents with the same watercolor pencils. And I came up with something else. Come on, move over, Roger. So, huh? And this. Just a little more. Perfect. Sammy, that was a great finishing touch. Well done. Why? Now let's take a good look at what we've got. Hi everyone! Today, Sam and I are in the mood for coloring. Come on and join us! Alright, Sudi! Let's see what new things you know that I don't know yet! Oh, Sammy, get ready to be impressed! Whoosh! Ah, you want me to work on the same picture? Okay then! Not quite yet, actually! Whoa! <laughs> Hold on to your hat, Mr. Great Artist! But why do you need a scalpel? We are going to make a kind of stencil from this sketch. Remember to always be careful with sharp objects, guys, and try to work neatly, of course. There's no need to cut out everything, just the few most remarkable elements. I wonder where this is going. Ugh. Give us a thumbs up if you do too, guys! Okay, the brows, the eyes, and the lips are done. And we don't need this big part as well. Whoop. Now we will simply put our stencil on top of our sketch. This way. Uh-huh! The cutout parts perfectly align with the same elements on the sketch! That's right! And just to be safe, let's secure the whole thing with paper clips. Here we go! Shiver me cheddars, I think I got it! Now we're going to simply paint those parts with a brush, right? 
Well, you've got the point. Only instead of a paintbrush, we'll use this. Shiver me chatters! This is gonna be fun! What do you say about all of these colors? Looking cool, huh? Holy cannoli! Let me come up closer! All right, you can proceed now, Sue! <laughs> Let's roll! Now, Sammy, check this out. I bet it wasn't as boring for you as simple coloring would have been, huh? Are you kidding me? That was awesome! I wonder what else you've got up your sleeve. Ooh. The next in our coloring workshop is this young lady. Huh, she's too blurry to be colored with the paint roller, don't you think so? You're right. This time, we're gonna do some sketching. The best part of this technique, guys, is that you don't have to be too precise. Just place your marker against the paper and create. Use any colors that you want. Switch the width of the lines you're drawing by switching the chisel tip to the brush tip and back. Wow, what knowledge! The chisel tip will work best for the eyebrows if we use it like this. Up, 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 up. We can even add some shades and mix colors. Here we go. Okay, Sue, I want to try to do that too. Ah, what a bright color! Awesome! Ha, ah, I love that! Sammy? Where'd you go? I've got a terrific idea, Sue! Finish that sketch without me! Oh! <laughs> Sammy and his ideas! And there is even more yet to come! Sammy, we're waiting here! Ah, oh, come on, where did he go? Oh. What? Where did this come from? Oh, sorry, Sue, I had to run to the hardware store. And why exactly did you get this? Please don't tell me that your idea was to paint the walls in your room again. Actually, uh, yeah, the walls do bother me. But that's not the point! Better check this out! Are these watercolors? But I thought we were going with unusual coloring today. Stop being suspicious and make the big paintbrush rainbowy already! Okay, okay. In that case, the red color comes first. Guys, you can use any colors you want! While we prefer the Roy G. Biv palette. You know it, right? Well done, Susie! Now just make one nice diagonal stroke. Your wish is my command. Here we go. Guys, would you look at this? Amazing! See? I told you, my idea was brilliant! That's true. I really like this picture. Do you guys? Then give us a thumbs up. But how about something a little bit more complicated? Like a trip to Paris, for example. Super me chadels! Should I go packing? <laughs> no, I'm gonna need your help here. Let's give this girl a remarkable hairdo. We need this. We're also gonna use a sponge brush like this one and acrylic paints of our favorite colors. By the way, guys, we love painting and coloring, and there are a bunch of videos about that on our channel. Oh, you should totally check them out. Ooh. All right, people, let's get started. The paint should just go straight through the stencil. Light and fast touches will seal the deal. to work sequentially. Sue is doing the very first layer. 
and I'm gonna make the second one. We'll carefully take the first stencil off of our picture and let it dry. Only after that can we move on to the next step. Roses are red, violets are blue. Slime Sam with a sponge a great picture can do! <laughs> you see? Easy peasy. Nice poem, Sammy. And well done with these clouds and a moon. But we've got to move forward. There are three more layers to go. Nice it must be to feel the wonderful city of Paris in your hair. You don't say, Sammy. Now this little Eiffel Tower will help us finish a few tiny details. And that's it. Watercolors will help us out with the makeup. And voila! A wonderful French lady portrait is finished. Oh, Champs-Élysées! Oh, Champs-Élysées! And if you want to know what's gonna come next over here, then you had better stay with us, don't go anywhere. Welcome back, guys. And here's one more girl without a hairdo so far. What are we gonna draw in her hair? New York? London? Tokyo? <laughs> Actually, this time we'll go with some sparkly glitter. But first, we need to draw the outline of her hairdo with glue. Here we go. Ooh, I'm gonna go get all the sparkles for my secret stash. I know Sammy loves shiny things. <laughs> Guys, you don't have to really be precise here. And by the way, you can make anything else sparkly on this portrait. I'm gonna add some glue on the girl's lips as well. Who's ready to see my precious collection of glitter? Ha ha! Wow, Sammy, you really brought everything you had. And note that not everything is pink. Here. <laughs> well, in that case, I want to start with the darkest hue. Here we go. Guys, you know that you can totally follow your inspiration with this craft, right? Oh, yeah. Get creative, and you will get a one of a kind, very beautiful, and sparkly portrait. Susie, do you mind? A little bit over here, and just a pinch right there. I like this type of art. <laughs> Oh, I really like how this portrait turned out. Holy cannoli! But you're not saying that we're done here, right? I want to keep coloring! <laughs> there is one more technique that I've been long wanting to try. You should protect your tables for this, guys. Meet our last girl. Ooh, she looks like a girl I knew back in Tibidaba. Wait a second. Is that all drawn in a single line? Yup, cool, right? Awesome! In a few minutes, We'll try to repeat it in one single line as well. But first, let's prepare this special watercolor paper for the coloring. The secret is not to spare the water, because watercolors really love it. That's why before you start working, you should secure your picture against the table with double-sided tape. And that part is done. Now we're just going to apply different watercolors onto the paper, creating a few random splashes and blots, like this. We'll use a brush to kind of direct the way they smear. Ah, that's a very professional color blending, Suzanne. <laughs> Thank you. Now it's time for my personal challenge. Just make sure that everything's dry before you do this, guys. Ooh. 
Ladies and gentlemen, why don't we let Sue finish her last piece of art for today? And in a couple of seconds, we will take a look at everything. 